Hi, welcome to another video. In the 1950s, there were no computers. People had to do math with pencil and paper. In the 1980s, people bought computers to do math. In 2001, people started buying computers to browse the internet and send emails. And now, in 2024, people are buying computers for AI. Apparently, we need machines to write our essays, paint our pictures, and even talk to us. I bet the next thing is AI making breakfasts. Well, that's also in development. Buying AI computers is challenging these days because every company is selling an AI-powered PC, whether it's Microsoft's Copilot PC or Apple's Apple Intelligence. But most of the time, these are just marketing gimmicks. I mean, how can a PC be AI-powered with just 8 GB of memory? I'm looking at you, Apple. So, today I'll be covering what you need in a computer or laptop to actually run AI models locally, like LLMs, text-to-image, or any other AI models you might need. I mostly use 7 billion to 14 billion parameter models and text-to-image models like Stable Diffusion. That's what I'll be focusing on because I think that's what most people also want to do with their computers. If you want to fine-tune and do advanced stuff with your models, then you are probably advanced enough to research the best computer for your needs. Anyway, to start, we'll be covering three things a computer needs to run LLMs. A CPU, RAM, and either a GPU or an NPU. I'll explain the differences between them in a bit. But first, let's talk about the CPU. The CPU is necessary, but not that critical. It's used for pre-processing when your LLMs start and for coordinating the flow of LLM data between system RAM and GPU VRAM. You should generally aim to get the latest CPU with six cores or more. Typically, an i7, Ryzen 7, or above should work for you. Next is the RAM. RAM is one of the major parts of running an LLM. It should generally be almost double your GPU VRAM, which I will explain later. I recommend at least 32 GB of RAM to run LLMs. Next is the extremely important part, the GPU or NPU. Let me first explain the difference between them. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. Generally, they are known as graphics cards, with NVIDIA being the leading provider. GPUs are the main source that powers LLMs and other AI models because they allow parallel computing, which is required for LLMs to handle data and generate responses simultaneously. A GPU has its own dedicated VRAM, like a 4090 with 24 gigs VRAM or a 4080 with 16 gigs VRAM. GPUs also have other components, but generally, VRAM is more necessary than anything. VRAM is costlier to make than system memory because it needs to be higher in speed and quality. GPUs also help you play games when you're done with your tasks, which is pretty cool. These days, companies are pushing NPUs more. NPU stands for Neural Processing Unit. NPUs are specialized processors designed specifically for accelerating artificial intelligence and machine learning workloads. The major reason companies are pushing NPUs is because they are more energy efficient and budget friendly. They are fully optimized for AI workloads and rely on system memory instead of having built-in memory. These new chips have also created a new benchmark called TOPS, which stands for Trillion Operations Per Second. This measures how fast and efficient any computer is in AI workloads. An NPU from Snapdragon X, used by Copilot PCs, gives you 40 TOPS, whereas NVIDIA's high-end GPUs, like the 4090, give you up to 1,300 TOPS, which is a huge difference. Apple's M3 has only 18 TOPS. However, TOPS cannot tell the full story. If you have a computer with 1,000 TOPS, but limited memory or VRAM, it's still not going to be beneficial. 
AI is the most VRAM-hungry area, which is why NPUs are advantageous. Many people can get their system memory bumped up to 128 gigs, while GPUs like the RTX 4090 can only fit a maximum of 32 gigs VRAM at a much higher cost. That's why NPUs are emerging for AI. Apple and Microsoft are already using them. Now, what would I recommend for buying computers? Generally, go with a computer that has a dedicated GPU with upwards of 8 gigs VRAM, 32 gig system memory, and a 6-core CPU. This way, you'll be safe running most AI applications like an 8B model or small stable diffusion models. If you want an Apple laptop or Windows Copilot PC with an ARM processor, aim for the most amount of RAM you can get, like 32 gigs or 64 gigs. That way, you'll be able to run the models. Now, let me give you some suggestions for different price points. Starting from the lowest, you can get this Legion Slim gaming laptop with a Ryzen 5 16 GB system memory and an RTX 4060 with 8 GB VRAM. This is priced at about $800, which is a good starting point in my opinion. It's 10 times better than the base M3 MacBook that only comes with 8 GB RAM and better than Copilot PCs because you get the benefit of a dedicated GPU for video editing and gaming. If you want to go above this range, you can go for the MSI Stealth laptop with an i7 processor, 32 GB RAM, and RTX 4070 with 8 GB VRAM, but higher speeds and CUDA cores. This costs $1,449. If you want to go even higher, you can get the ROG Strix PC with a Core i9 32GB RAM and RTX 4080 with 12GB VRAM. For an even higher range, you can get the RTX 4090-16GB VRAM Asus Zephyrus G16, which also has the Intel Core Ultra 9 CPU. If you're in this range, you can also check out the M3 Max MacBook laptops. They come with 36 GB unified memory, so if you prefer Mac, you can get that as well. Also, if you don't care about portability, then you can also opt in for a PC that will be much cost effective, and you can get the most out of it by overclocking and stuff. I would also recommend installing Linux if you buy any of the Windows laptop and try to use as much open source software you can use. Overall, that's how you can choose your next best AI PC. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.